Um, maybe some of you, when we go to the floor, you're gonna go to the chair instead. Um, we are gonna definitely use it on the stretch at the end. So 100% you need a chair, even if it's just for the stretch or a couch. So your choice, whatever sturdy. Sturdy chair, nothing foldable. Nothing rolling either, no rolling chairs. And we need um, weights. Your choice, we're gonna go overhead with these weights. So you can either go higher weights and put it down when you go overhead if it's too much, or do lower weights. Um, and Pilates strap for the end, but you don't need it. You don't have to have it, it's totally up to you. You can use um, a belt, I like a belt, or um, nylons. So again, your choice, but we are definitely gonna use chair. So are you ready? Let's warm up, get those muscles talking <laughs> hopefully not yelling no just talking all right relax those shoulders back and down oh you know what i am going to make you big so i can see everybody because right now you're small there now you're big <laughs> all right shoulders back and down draw the belly button in contract those abs and march it out Ooh. You know what? I don't think you can see my feet. So I'm going to go. I think you can see it. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my feet. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. All right, relax those shoulders. Draw the belly button in. Set yourself up. Open north, south, east, and west. And you're going to go step out and in, out, sorry, out and in, this way, there we go. Elbows out, palms down, open that chest out. We're just warming it up. So relax those shoulders back and down. You're not wearing them as earrings, right? Those shoulders are relaxed. Those shoulder blades are in your back pocket. Give me three more, two more. One more, bring it back, elbows back. Bring that foot back, there you go. Elbows back, tap it back with that foot. Now you can wear tennis shoes, as you notice, I'm not wearing tennis shoes, but you can definitely wear tennis shoes, your choice. Um, we're gonna really stretch it out, so if you want, later on, you can take those tennis shoes off and get a stretch in those feet as well. But you can wear tennis shoes the whole time. Give me three more. Two more. One more, and we're gonna kick and raise. So you're kicking and raise those arms above your head only if it feels okay. So maybe you tap, right? You can tap forward instead. It's totally up to you. Four more. Two more. We're gonna start at the top with that tap to the side. Go, side, bring it out and in. Out and in, elbows at your shoulder height. Woo! Four more. Three, two, and one, tap it back, go, tap, tap, elbows back, elbows are close to your side, open that chest up, if you just join me, we're going to use dumbbells and a chair, so grab those dumbbells, we're going to go overhead, you got two more, um, but don't grab them to use them now, we're just warming up, last one, and raise those arms and kick it up. Go. Woo. Open that chest up. Pull those elbows in. Making sure those elbows come in every time and that chest stays open. Three more. Two more. Third set coming up. Last one. Bring it elbows up and out. Go. Woo. Open that chest, draw that belly button in, and remember, pelvic tilt, 
forward. The bottom of the pelvis tips it forward. Nice neutral spine. Give me three more. Two more. One more, and you're gonna bring it back for those tap backs. Last one, go. Give me those tap backs. Pull back with those elbows. Pull back, don't arch the back. Really open up that chest and tuck that tummy in for a nice neutral spine. Give me four more. Woo! Three more. Two more. One more and kick it out. Ready, set, go. Kick it out. Raising it up over your head. Woo. Two more. One more. We're going to combine it all just for fun. Draw the belly button in. Give me one out. One out. Give me one more. One more and then we're going to go back. So we're combining right now. Now, two back. Right? Back. Tap back. Tap back and then we're going to kick up. Come on, kick up. We're combining right now. Twos. Woo! Bring it out for twos twos. There we go. Bring it back for twos. Kick, kick is next. Woo! Come on, twos. There we go. We got one more set and out for two. Elbows as high as your shoulders, but not past. Bring it back for twos. And kick it up. Woo! Last one, nicely done. We're gonna switch it out, march it out. You're gonna reach up over high. So you're here, draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Give me eight more. Eight, you can bring it in, right? Seven, bring it in. Six, five, bring it in. Four, bend those knees. Three, two, and one, cross it over, bring it back and in. I love this turn, you're switching from one leg to the other. That weight is 50-50 and then 75-25, right? Give me four more, pull in, boom. Bend those knees. Three, don't go too fast. You don't want to put stress on your knees. You're pivoting. Last one. Bring it in and reach down, tap it in. Reach down and tap it in. Go as slow as you need to go, right? Don't go too far into it where it bothers your back, your knees. We're just warming up. Give me four. Three, I like to pull in. Two, pull in. One, pull in. We're gonna switch sides. So you're here, draw the belly button in, contract those abs and reach and pull in. Reach, so we just switch sides, right? Pull in, out, pull in. Give me three more. Two more, get ready for that reach. One more, woo, reach it out, go. Pivot and pull it in, pivot and pull it in. Pivot, you do this all day long. That's why I always include it in a class. I feel like that transverse movement is so important. You're pivoting on those feet. I wanna get you so used to pivoting that the other way feels awkward. See how my whole foot pivots. Give me two more. One more. Woo! Reach down low, go. Bring it to low and pull in. Low and pull in, there you go. We got this. Pull in, pull in. Give me four more, we're just warming up. 
Three more. So you go as slow as you need to. Two more. And one more. Nicely done. Other side, go. Woo. Pull it in. Overhead, shoulders. Back and down, pull it in. You can reach if you want. It's up to you, or you're here. Four more. Three. Two. And one for that pivot, go. Four, eight. Woo. Seven. Six. Pull it in. Five. Four. Did I say six? Yeah. Three. Two. And one. Bring it down. Go low. Come on. Press through that booty. Give me some booty control. Bring it down and reach. You're hinging at the hip. Put that butt out like you're sitting in a chair. You're reaching for something on the floor, right? You can be here or here. Here and pull in. Shoulders back and down. Give me two more. We're gonna go to the other side. Last one. Bring it down and up. Go out and in. Out and in. Nice. Reach up. Pull it in. Reach up. Pull it in. Oh, you guys look really good. I got a lot of people out there that I see arms swinging. I love it when I can see you guys, even if you're in your pajamas. I think we got three more. I was so excited about looking at you guys. I forgot to count. Two more. <laughs> One more, come on, transverse, go, open, pull it in. Grab that thing off the counter, right? We do this all day long, whoo. Pivot on that foot, that heel comes up. See my heel comes up, bring it in. See my heel comes up, give me four more. Four, pull it in, three, go as slow as you need to. Bend those knees. Two, see how I'm bending my knees? One, go low. Bring it down, pull in. Bring it down, pull in. Bring it down. So I'm hinging at the hips. See my chest stays open. I'm not here. That can make me dizzy, right? So I'm here, I'm looking up. Give me four, pull in. My knees are bent the whole time. I'm not stressing my knees out. I'm really working my core. And my legs. Oh, you got last one. Nice. Bring it in. Let's come by. That would be fun. So out. Give me two. And one. Turn it. Go. Two. And one. Bring it low. Go. Two. And one. Switch sides. Go out for two. And one. Bring it back for two. And one, go low, two, and one. Let's do that all again. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, bring it out and in. Go back and in, go down, Woo! and in, switch sides, go out and in, go back. Four, two, and low, four, two, and march it out. Woo! Nicely done. Oh, man, we're right at 15. Awesome. March it out, shoulders back and down. Roll those shoulders. Let's do a little hinge of the hips. So flat back down, hinging at the hips. Roll it down, roll up. One vertebrae at a time, shoulder roll. Ooh, flat back down, come on, flat back down. Bend those knees. Shake, 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 roll it up. One vertebrae. All right, we are all warmed up, so we're gonna kind of use those moves um, right now too. So grab your dumbbells, or we're gonna add to it. So I got you all warmed up. 
we're ready to go. We got dumbbells. You don't have to use dumbbells. You can use body weight, right? So your choice. Um, low dumbbells, because we're going overhead, or if it bothers you to go overhead, then no dumbbells when you're going overhead, right? Okay, so toes forward. You should be wearing tennis shoes right now. I don't have any tennis shoes because I'm bad. <laughs> you can lecture me. I, I'm used to it. Bicep curls. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze the butt. Look at my legs. See how my knee is bent? Yes. Knees should be bent. Good um, posture. You're not here, right? Yes, you're here. Pelvis, you're not here, right? Yes. No. <laughs> you're right here. Keep it going. We're going to do a little extra bicep curl. Loosen your grip, too. Okay, so you don't have to be here. You don't have to be here. You can be a little loose. Keep going. Keep going. Give me four. You did may, way more than eight, but that's okay. Three, two, and one. Palms down. Go. Eight, seven. Palms down. This is different. Forearm. Yes, forearms are important. <laughs> Palms down, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, pull up, bring it up overhead. You can't see it, but I'm going overhead. Bring it down, overhead. Loosen that grip. Don't over tighten. That's what fatigues those fingers, especially if you have arthritis. Ah, oh, not good. Not good. Woo! So I'm hinging at the hips. I'm not going forward. I'm going to the side. Make sure it's a side hinge. Give me three more. Woo! Two more. Now you might need the chair or a wall for this next one. I'm going to use the wall. Woo! Bring it down and I'm just going to tap that wall. I got my dumbbell, so, and you're gonna go up and over, but pull in, hand out, over and in. Knees are bent. Do you see how I'm not straightening my legs? Well, the outside leg is, but the, the stance leg is bent. It's a soft knee. Give me four, pull in and over. Three, you should not feel this in the back. If you feel in the back, you're going too deep into it. Two, and one. Nicely done, relax it out. Go back to that bicep curl, give me eight. With palms up, seven, six, five. We're gonna do the other side. Four, three, two, and one. Palms down, go. Palms down, eight, seven. Forearms, come on, we're getting those forearms. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down and up. Eight, seven, six. Hinging at the side, side oblique. Really make sure you're squeezing your side oblique. That's a muscle right here. Give me three more. Woo, two more. One more, hold on to that chair or that wall, and you're up and over. Up and pull in. Up and pull in. See how that elbow goes towards? Yes, 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 yes. Give me six more. Five. Four. Bend those knees. Make sure that that stance knee is soft. Three more. Two more. One more, bicep curl, go, bicep curl. Eight, seven, six, five. Bend those knees, squeeze that butt. Really screw those feet into the floor. You wanna feel those glutes activate. Three more, two more, one more, palms down, go. Take a break when you need to. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Go. Film and up. Squeeze.
squeeze the side oblique. Woo! Your range of motion. Come on, you got six more. You can do this. Five. Woo! Four. Go your pace. Just because I'm counting doesn't mean you go, um, you might be faster, you might be slower. So you might do more, or you might do less. That's totally fine. Two more. One more. Bring it overhead. Pull in, right? Bend that knee on the stance leg. Boom. Pull in. Eight or seven, sorry. Six. I want you to do more. Five. Four. More, more, more. Three. Two. And one. Bring it in. Yes, for those bicep curls. Come on, this is the second set. We got this. This is nothing. It is. It's something. I'm lying. I'm just trying to make you feel good. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Palms down. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. I'm feeling this. Five. Four. Woo! Three. I do this in my golf class. When I have the palms down, that's really good. If you're a golfer, good for grip. Last one. Bring it up. Up and down. Go. Side oblique work along with arm work. Woo. Don't hinge forward. Hinge at the hip. If that bothers you, then don't hinge at all. So your choice. Mm. Give me four more. I feel like everybody is having fun because nobody's complaining. And if you're complaining, I can't hear you. Ha ha. Two more. That's a luxury of a Zoom class. You don't hear the whining. Last one. Woo. Bring it up and over. You're holding onto a chair. Pull in with that elbow and over. Pull in. Now, maybe that bothers your rotator cuff. Guess what? Don't use the dumbbells or don't do it. Just stay low. Go halfway, you know, like you're here instead, right? I'll go slow for that one. Three, pull in. Two, pull in. And one, relax it out. Woo! Nicely done. Shake it out. Shake it out. Because we're going to do some more with some dumbbells. So put them down for a second. And just. Relax, because we got a, like a whole nother thing, and we're using dumbbells. So, there you go. All right. Rest time's over. Grab those dumbbells if you want. We're going to open some cupboards. So, bend those knees. Screw those feet into the floor. Activate your booty. Squeeze your glutes. I want those glutes squozing the whole time. In yes. Squozen is a proper word. One of my classes was like, no, there's no such thing as squozen. And I'm like, oh yes, I'm gonna find it. And in the dictionary, there is the word squozen. And I had three English teachers in my class that was like, what dictionary did you get that out of? <laughs> but it is a word. Squozen is a word. So Squeeze those glutes until they're squozen. Four more. Three. Woo, I feel this. Two. And one. Bring it down. Hinge at the hips. You see my knees are bent? My back is flat. I'm not here. I'm here. Okay? Bring it back and pull. Shoulder blades back and down. Shoulder blades back and down. Really get them. Oh, open up that chest and making sure you pull, like you've got a tennis ball on those shoulder blades and you're squeezing that tennis ball, right? Three more, two more, one more, bring it down, take that foot back, pull up, pull up. Oh, is this balance too? Yes, but strength on the stance leg, go. Give me six. Five. You can tap it out also, right? You don't have to lift that leg. Two more. One more. We 
remember the leg you did. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Elbows are even with the shoulders or lower, no higher than those shoulders, right? So modify, maybe you don't use the dumbbells. I am really feeling this one. Nice, I think I grabbed my wrong dumbbells. I don't know what these are, but I'm feeling it. I hope you're feeling it too. Glutes, squeeze those glutes. Did you forget about the glutes? Give me three more, two more, one more. Woo, bring it in, down, and hinge at the hips for eight. Flat back, squeeze the glute, bend those legs. Make sure you're not straight with the legs. Shoulders back and down, look down, not up. Give me four, three, two, and one other leg. Draw the belly button in. You can keep it here or lift. Go eight, seven, six, five, reset, four, reset, three, two, one. Nicely done from the top. Ready? Glutes activated. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hinge at the hips. Draw the belly button, contract those abs. Pull, eight, seven, six, five. Watch the back, don't arch the back, look down. Unhinge if it bothers that back. Three, two, and one. Foot back, draw the belly button and balance. Eight, squeeze that butt, don't arch the back and bend that stance knee. Looking down, give me four more leg lifts. Three, pull, two, pull, one. Well done, bring it back up, draw the belly button in. You're at the bottom of the set, eight, seven, knees are bent, unlock those knees. Five, four, Three, go as far back as you need to. Two, and one, bring it down, hinge. Get low, shoulders back and down, look down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Bend those knees a little bit more. Two, and one, bring that leg back. Draw the belly button in, pull up, pull up. Your stance leg is soft knee. Eight, or sorry, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. We're gonna combine the whole thing. So, shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in, bicep curl for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I was supposed to do four, sorry. Palms down, four. You just got extra bicep curls. Three, two, and one. Bring it in for four. Three, two, looking down, and one, get that leg back, four, three, pull in, two, and one, switch it up, go bicep, four, three, bicep curl, two, and one, palms down, four, three, two, and one, go. Give me four. Open up that chest. Three, two, and one. Bring it back for four, three. Squeeze that glute. Squeeze that glute. Two, and one. Nicely done. Relax those shoulders. 
And then, what did I do? Yes, we did it. I think, I just, I think I, uh, yeah. Yeah, we did it all, yay! All right, shoulders relaxed, get those dumbbells, put them down. For some reason I thought I skipped something. I feel like I skipped something. Roll my shoulders. You'll let me know later, right? And then single. So get rid of those dumbbells. Ooh. Yeah, I know what I did. I combined the bicep curls with the last set. I knew I did something wrong. I could have let it go, but I always rat myself out. All right, big open. I'm like one of those kids that when I was a little kid, I couldn't tell a lie. I'd be like, mom, I stole a cookie. <laughs> Could not get away with anything. Give me two more. One more, shake it out. All right, this is when we're going to the floor. So again, your choice. We're going to the floor or the chair. It's up to you. So um, this is the first one that we're doing. We're going down. You want your yoga mat on the floor. And you know how you're supposed to get down, right? Boom, 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 down. Well, we're staying on our knees. So, pillow, yoga mat rolled up, um, like a half yoga mat folded in half. If the carpeting is good, whatever you need to support your knees. Or, you're gonna be doing this. Your choice, you would be, here. So the first one we would do, you would go opposite and hold. So you're either here or you're on the floor. Or you can actually be here too. Okay? So you've got choices. I'm going to show you the floor one. Okay. So you're safely on the floor. You're going to go to tabletop. If you're on the chair, you're going to get in good form, get off the tailbone. Okay, so you're not here, you're not here, you're tabletop. Draw the belly button in, no matter where you're at. Contract the abs, squeeze the glutes. And you're gonna go opposite arm. Maybe you're only lifting your arm, thumb up. And then you're gonna bring that foot up. So, your choice, you're gonna hold it. Now maybe you're here, or maybe you're here. Doesn't matter, but that glute is engaged. So four, thumb up, three, look down, not up. Two, draw that belly button in a little bit more. And one, bring it in. Bring it to either child's pose or just stretch, whatever makes you feel good. Maybe you wanna get off those knees for a second. It's totally up to you. Whatever feels good, we're gonna do the other side. Draw the belly button in, contract the abs. So now you got the other arm and the other leg. Core up, shoulders back and down, set it. Nice and safe. Bring it up. You're looking down, not up. That hand is up, thumb is up, point it towards the ceiling. Draw the belly button in a little bit more. Don't put stress on the back. Maybe the arm only, maybe the leg only. Squeeze that glute, pull in through the tummy and squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, nicely done. Go to child's pose or whatever feels good just to stretch it out. We're gonna go back to tabletop. You're either holding on to the chair or you're, um, Lifting, you're seated and lifting the heels up and down, okay? Your choice. So you're here. So off the knees. You're in almost like um, a downward dog, but a sloppy downward dog, okay? Your butt is up in the air. This would be the worst plank ever. And you're gonna bring those knees down and up. That's it. You're not touching the floor. Don't touch the floor. The heels are off the ground. You're bringing the knees down, core up. Relax the shoulders. This is not in your shoulders. If you feel like it's too much, grab a chair. Give me seven. Down, knees come down, bring it up. 
six, five, four, squeeze that butt a little bit more, three, two, and one. Bring it up, maybe child's pose is up to you, your choice. Maybe you just rest for a second right here, whatever, but rest those knees for a second. All right, because you are gonna go back into it, draw the belly button in, contract the abs, squeeze the glutes. You're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, and hold it. Eight, seven, squeeze that glutes. Draw the belly button in, four, look down, two, and one, nicely done. Bring it down and other side. Ready, go. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze that glute, make sure you're not arching the back. Six, five, four, maybe just the arm, maybe just the leg. Two, and one, bring it down into a child's pose, and you're gonna come up. So knees are bent, draw the belly button in, open up that chest, talk the tummy, squeeze the glutes, down and up. You want those glutes so engaged. You should feel this in the legs, this is full body. The arms, the legs, the glutes, but squeeze those glutes. If the knees bother you, grab a chair. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Bring it down. Woo! Well done, well done. All right, so that was really well done. Shake it out. Um, you are going to go to a standing position. So your choice. You're here, right? Get up nice and safe. Shake it out. Oh, hey, that was good. Okay, first one we're gonna do, especially because we just did that, we're gonna go right into a calf stretch. So how do I calf stretch? I need a wall or a chair. You can be here or here, your choice. I hope you can see my feet. Yes, I think you can. See how my toes are forward? The right leg goes back, the left leg goes forward, left knee is bent, right leg straight. Don't bend the knee, nice and straight. Push that heel down. If those toes are out, bad, bad, bad. Turn it in. I'm gonna Smack you with the el dente noodle. Like those toes have to be forward. It's so bad if they're out, you're not getting the right stretch. But it's easy to do. So you're holding that stretch, you should feel it. Below the knee and down. That's where you wanna feel it. Now let's say you feel it and you feel it behind the knee. That's okay, but you gotta be careful because your connection when you're feeling it right there, you, you might wanna let off a little bit. You don't wanna pull too much. But it should feel like relieving. And you're relaxed. Oh my gosh, you're so relaxed. Shoulders are back and down. You're breathing. This is stretching, so it's not straight. You're not like, err. You're, oh. See the difference? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna hit the soleus muscle, which relies underneath the gastroc. So still below your knee and down, but this is gonna be lower to your foot. So bend that knee just a little bit. Maybe you need to bring yourself forward a little bit to feel it, but you will feel it lower. Bend that knee, keep that heel on the ground, that heel pops up. You know, change it up a little bit. Don't bend the knee so much. If you are real tight, like under your foot and like going up your ankle, this is really good one for you. Yeah, because it hits that whole area. 
Um, I do this for all my runners. Anytime I have someone who either runs on a treadmill or outside, I always add the soleus stretch. All right, switch it out. Woo, shake it out. Take that other foot. Toes are forward. Woo, everybody looks so nice. Bend that right knee. Straighten out that left leg. Oh my holy guacamole. This leg is so tight. So maybe one side is tighter than the other. That's okay, you're normal. Well, I shouldn't just say you're normal because that's a stretch. <laughs> but you're normal, your body's normal. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to that soleus. Are you ready? So bend the knee a little bit, but keep that heel on the ground. Maybe bring yourself forward a little bit. If you feel in your shin, guess what? You probably have tight shin muscles. So be careful, because it's supposed to be on the back of your leg. So you're real tight. So you might even get Charlie horses sometimes on your shins. Shin splints, ow. You're relaxing, right? Everybody's relaxed into this, but they're feeling it, bottom of the foot and up the calf. All right, relax it out. Woo! This one is my favorite. So I always say that though, every stretch is my favorite. You're gonna cross your outer leg, you're gonna definitely hold on to a wall or a chair and you're gonna hinge at the hip, bringing it down, flat back, flat back. So I'm gonna show you from this angle. See, I crossed and I'm reaching down. Flat, 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 flat. Reach down, reach down, reach down, reach down. Now round the back and reach further. So now you're rounded. You feel that stretch in the legs, maybe even the back. All right, roll up one vertebrae at a time. But you gotta hold on to the chair because you know your legs are crossed. So now you're gonna do the other side. So now you're gonna cross the leg and then you're gonna hold on to a chair. So pretend, oh, I'm gonna actually bring the chair here so I don't fall. And then hinge forward. Flat back down. Go as low as you need to until you feel stretched. Don't bend those knees. Those knees are straight. All right, round your back. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Woo! Nicely done. Okay, so now you're here. Nice. So I'm gonna put this on this side. This one is a little complicated, so I'm gonna show you sideways. You're gonna take this right foot back behind you. Your heel is up. I'm gonna go so you can see my heel. So my heel is up. I'm gonna bend that right knee and my heel is up. This heel is down and this knee is bent as well. This is the hard part. I'm gonna pelvic tilt forward, like I'm filling a bowl, right? I'm pelvic tilting forward. That's gonna get that hip flexor right here to stretch. Awesome. Now you can hold it there or you can deepen that stretch and bring it up and over. But don't lose that pelvic tilt because that pelvic tilt is what stretches everything. Remember that back heel is up. So you're really holding on, because this is a balance thing. Be super careful with this one. You don't have to bring your arm up. It's a good stretch without it. All right, take it out, relax. Nicely done, shake it out. Other side. So now you're doing the other side. Take the left foot back, right foot forward, right foot is flat, bend the right knee, then the left knee, Pop that left heel up, pelvic tilt forward, right? Then I feel it right here, up and over. 
only if you want to. Feel that stretch. Making sure you're not leaning forward. You want to be shoulders over hips. Fill that ball, fill that ball. It took me like three weeks to even be able to feel this because my hip flexors were so tight. All right, relax it out. Shake it out. Nice. So that works like right here. That stretches that area out. Okay. If you sit a lot, that can get really tight right here. Um, okay. So now we're going to use the chair for our figure four exercise. Um, I'm going to go forward and because I'm sitting, I want you to see me. Okay. Perfect. So here I am. Um, you're going to take and cross your leg. Now, if this is too much where that puts too much pressure on the knee, that's why I love this. Look at you straighten your leg. You're good to go. You're on the edge of the chair and you're off your tailbone, right? So you're here or you're here. It just depends. Now, if you don't feel anything, this is where you should feel it. Hinge forward. Only if you don't feel anything yet. Um, just relax into it. Like, you know, you can do this while you're sitting watching TV. Like it literally undoes the sitting. So why not? I mean, if you're like watching TV, if you have a bowl of popcorn, it benefits you because the popcorn is now closer to your face. See? I'm always thinking about you. <laughs> Go. It's really like something that I do. <laughs> Like, oh, popcorn, super easy to now stuff my face. I'm <laughs> doing something productive. All right, relax it out. Oh, slide it down, relax, very careful. One side is not equal to the other. So maybe on this side, you need to be here. Your, your choice, or you're here. But be gentle, come off that tailbone. You don't feel anything right here, or if you feel it in the knee, retract, um, and then hinge forward. So notice how my back is like straight. Look, see, I'm not here. That's not gonna give me a stretch. I'm pelvic tilting, like almost like I'm arching my back, but I'm not. It kind of feels like I'm arching my back, but my back is nice and straight. And just kind of hang out here. If you feel stress in the knee, you're going too deep into it. Even if you don't feel it in your um, psoas or your piriformis, which is the deep butt muscle, um, you shouldn't feel it in the knee unless it's like, okay, it feels like a good stretch on the knee. You should never feel pain in any joint while you're stretching. All right, relax it out, come up, bring it down nice and slow. I kind of did a little fast. Um, grab your Pilates strap, or you don't have to. Look what I got. <gasps> I got a Pilates strap at five below. I'm so excited. I've never had a Pilates strap of my own, but you can use that belt because that belt works just as good. You're going to do a hamstring stretch. Literally, this is the only reason we need. Oh, I'm going to go back. There you go. So, right now, I got this on my foot or my shoe, whatever. You're gonna um, relax the foot, totally relax the foot. This is hamstring. Open up, you're on the edge of the chair, hinge at the hip, flat back down. Relax that foot, do not pull so that you're flexing your foot. Because we don't want the calf, I want the hamstring. If you need to bend that knee a little bit to feel that hamstring instead of the calf, calf is here, hamstring here, um, bend the knee then. You gotta hit the hamstring. If you feel it in your back a little bit, that's okay, but I don't want calf. Okay. Yes. We already stretched the calf. We're not stretching it. I want that hamstring. Yay. Okay, come up. Now you're gonna round down. So same thing, relax the foot. Maybe bend the knee if you don't feel it in the hamstring. Oh my gosh, I totally feel that. 
Oh, maybe you feel it on the back of the knee more. That's okay as long as it's not pain. So you know the difference. But yeah, just um, take that pressure off that knee by just bending it a little bit. All right, roll up one vertebrae at a time and switch. Eek. Be careful. Sometimes those rapid movements are what gets you. Okay, so hinge at the hips, relax that foot. You're on the edge of the chair. You're um, off your tailbone and you're hinging flat back down. We're gonna work on the neck next because um, I feel like a lot of people have some cervical spine issues. So we're gonna do the neck next. Okay, come up. And then this time, roll down, roll down. But don't flex that foot. You want it in the back of that leg, leg above the knee. Here we go. Doesn't that feel so good? Oh, if anyone is doing my class tomorrow, remember I said it at the beginning, um, get a ball or a rolled up towel, big ball about this size. I don't know why that just popped in my head, but it did. Okay, relax it out. And then we're gonna work on those shoulders. So just roll the shoulders, but we're gonna put this Pilates strap aside. We don't need it anymore. That's literally the only thing we're doing with it. Um, however, we are going to use, use the neck um, and the shoulders right now. So roll those shoulders. I like to put my hands on my shoulders and just draw circles with my elbows. Shoulders back and down, give me four, three, two, and one, give me singles. Four, three, does that feel good? Two, why do we not stretch more? Like, I just don't understand. It feels so good on the body. All right, bring it down. So you're off your tailbone, right? Nobody's ever on their tailbone in my presence. So on your sits bones, stretch, 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 shoulders, reach them up towards the ceiling, like stretch that spine and reach up and reach up. Like a morning stretch, right? Give me two more. One more. Nicely done. All right, you're gonna hold on to the chair. It doesn't matter which side, I don't care. And you're gonna open and just stretch. Shoulders over hips. Just give me an upper body stretch. Feel that stretch on the shoulder, maybe even the neck, definitely the back. And bring it down and other side. Up and over. You can go as deep into it as you want, right? As soon as you start feeling it here, you're good. Bring it down. All right, let's just do the neck. So ear to shoulder. You just want that ear towards the shoulder. You want this ear up towards the ceiling. Now, take that hand. So if you have, you, if you're going towards the right, you're gonna have your left hand and you're gonna pull a little bit. And you're gonna bring that ear up towards the ceiling a little bit more. Now, do you feel that stretch come through here? Isn't that amazing how it changes just by pulling on the bottom of that chair? Gives you a deeper stretch. All right, back to center. So pulling away, right? Okay, so now ear to shoulder. Bring that other ear towards the ceiling. So if you're leaning towards the left, or if you're, um, your ear, you're doing the left side of your body, you're gonna take your 
right hand. I don't know. I can't. I can't think of my rights and my lefts. I'm so confused. But use this hand, Paul. So you're mirroring me. And then take that ear up towards the ceiling. You're using your right hand. Right hand. There you go. You're pulling away from that right hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm losing it. <laughs> And then slowly bring it back to center and roll those shoulders. There, see how that, I mean, that is amazing how it opens up. Okay, so now I want to do the arms. So you're here. You don't have to turn. I just want to show you the side. You're going to bring it up and you're going to go back. So see how my arm is straight? If you're here, maybe you want to rest it and do it here, but I need that stretch. And make sure you got a nice flat back and you're off your tailbone. Sits bones only. Tailbone is not invited to our little party. Toe, uh, toes down. Fingertips down. There you go. And then palms out. Bring it down. This one's a hard one, especially if you're really tight. But oh my gosh, carpal tunnel people's so good for you. Arthritis, so good for you. Bring it down. Other side. I'm gonna switch so you can see me. So stop, right? Fingertips up, press it back. Again, you can be here if you've got shoulder issues. But this helps. I kid you not. You can have like issues up here. Dang, this helps so nice. Even rotator cuff, because it kind of transcends to other areas for sure. All right, bring it down, fingertips down, press. So you feel that stretch all through here. But if you're real tight here, you'll feel everything like right here. And then palm out, press down. All right. So bring it down. Roll those shoulders again. One of my favorite, favorite things to do, when I put lotion on, I massage all through here. Keep rolling those shoulders. Give me singles. And I take all this, like through this area through this area, up here, through here, wherever I feel a tender area, and I just massage. A lot of times it's like through here, and a lot of times it's right through here. Oh, it feels so good, and it's so good because it's getting those muscle knots out. All right, bring it up. Only if it feels good. Elbows up, right, you're right here. And bring it down. Okay, yes? All right, you know where we're going. <laughs> either grab the pole, right? You either have a broomstick or you're here, you're reaching. If you have um, shoulder issues, this is great for you, but you gotta be careful. Don't arch that back, don't arch that back. Nice, all right, bring it down. And over, so other side. So you don't have to do this. If your shoulders say no, just do half of it. Either do the bottom or the top. You're still getting the stretch. I'm not picky. Well, unless you talk to my husband, then he'll be like, oh my God, she's such a liar. <laughs> See, I ratted myself out again. I cannot lie. <laughs> one more. I guess I am picky. Bring it down. And just press, roll them. This also, when you're like watching TV, I hope I haunt you. And I'm gonna be in your ear going, you know, go into a figure four, stretch those uh, wrists, roll those ankles. You know, you should not just be sitting there. All right, bring it down. Well done, you guys. Thank you so much very much. You can take
take yourself off mute if you want. If you're doing my class tomorrow, we need a ball, or I guess it's at five below or Target, they have them. Um, if you're not using my class, then you're good. But you can also use a towel. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good? <laughs> Bye. Yay. Nice, nice. Nice. Did some strength. Did some core. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Judith. Hey, Judith. Thank you. Yes. Carmen. Oh, a lot of people joined and I didn't know. Marie. And oh, John. John. Wait, wait. Meg. Meg. Hi. Meg's here. John. Melody. Susanna. Jacqueline, Kathy, Barbara, Barbara, hey Barbara, nice, all right, well thank you guys for coming, thank you. you guys are awesome, thank you, nicely done, thank you, thanks for hanging out with me and keeping with me. <laughs> Remember, you guys can, um, Marianne puts these on YouTube, so you can check out the YouTube um, videos as well. That's great. Thank yeah, you. if you want to do it again. Okay. All right. That sounds great. Have a good one.